Hi everybody, in this video you're going to learn what Thunkable is, how it works, you're going to learn how to test your apps with your phone, and you're going to really understand why we're using Thunkable for this class. Let's go ahead and get started. Once you log into Thunkable, you'll see this screen, and what we want to do is start building. So I'm going to go ahead and click start building here. Now you do not need to follow along because I'm just going to show you some stuff in this video. I'm going to title this one example. Once we do that, we're going to get loaded into what I call the designer screen. So when you create a new project, you get into this screen right here, and you can go ahead and close this sidebar. In this screen, we call this the designer because this is where you design what your app is gonna look like. So in the center of the screen, you'll see that there is a phone screen. This is what your phone screen will look like once you code this. On the left-hand side, we've got two major areas. I like to start at the bottom because at the bottom is where you get to add components. Components are little tools that you can add into your apps. These tools are things like buttons, labels, text inputs, those are like text boxes, list viewers, web viewers, switches, sliders, and you name it. There are a lot of different components that you can use, including using the different sensors inside of your phones. To add components to your app, you can just drag them into the screen. So I'm going to drag a button in or you can add them in above here because at the top here is where all your components also live and you can see which component is selected. Also, we've got a space here for invisible components. These are things like sounds that you can't really see and we've got a space here for files that we can add as well as data sources too. Now, once we have a component selected, we can see the properties for that component on the right hand side. And as you can see, as I click on the component, the properties change. Screen one is a component that comes automatically with your apps. And this is where we can change background colors. We can put images, background images. We can do change the alignment. We can make things scrollable or not scrollable. In the button components, we can go ahead and change background colors as well. The background picture, we can change the width, the height. We can make the font bold. We can do a lot of different things. Uh, and if we go to this button over here, we can rename the name of our button. So I can go ahead and call this one maybe bottom button. And now we'll see that over here we've got button one and button, bottom button. Once we have this screen figured out, we can go ahead and go into our block section. And in the blocks, we can go ahead and do all the programming or code what should happen when we tap or do anything on our screen. So if I go to the blocks, we'll see that there are two major sections here. We've got these drawers and these drawers are filled with what we call built in blocks. And you can tell it's one of those built in blocks because it has these colors next to it. For example, in the control drawer, we can see we have the if statements, we have uh, loops, uh, we have a lot of different options here. In the logic, we have equal signs, greater than, less than, we've got uh, true, false, not, so a lot of different logic statements. We've got math statements, we've got a bunch of text statements, we can make lists, we can grab colors, we can do a lot of different things here. Below that, we have all the blocks for the components we've added. So I've got all the button one blocks, including button one click, long click, touch down. These yellow blocks, in our own in the components we've added are called event handlers all right and this these handle the events for example when the button one is clicked what do we want to do i've got the bot the bottom button components here and i've even got the screen one components here we'll talk about any component later because you can use that in more advanced apps now once i want to start testing it's really easy to start testing your app you can click live test here and when you do that you can see an example of your app right here. But if you want to preview it on your phone, you've got to first download the Thunkable Live app. Once you have the Thunkable Live app, you can open that up and make sure you're logged into the same account and you'll see what's on the same exact screen. All right, so you just hit live test, make sure you're logged in, and there you can see that I see the same exact screen that I have right here. Now, I don't have any functionality built in yet because you're going to learn how to do that in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough and in the next video, you're going to play a little scavenger hunt to make sure you understand where things are located and how this really works. Enjoy.